Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game. How is everybody doing today? I hope you are very good because today, this today is a very special day because no, we are not getting our first hybrid, we are getting our second hybrid because our first hybrid was Nundagosaurus, which we got from a pack a few episodes earlier but today today we have or I am have got or I can get Labyrinthosaurus I think that's how you pronounce it but I'm gonna speed it up so that we can see it and I got food so that we can feed it too as as you can see I'm about to go broke because I'm spending my bucks. And there we go. Let's see our new hybrid. Lab Labyrinthosaurus. So I'm going to place it right there. Just like that. Our common hybrid. So let's feed it. Level 10, it has 317 health and 109 attack. It's pretty good, not bad. And to get another one, which I don't have enough DNA, but I will get enough DNA very soon. Um, so yeah, we'll be getting a level 20. But we got a pack to open. 90. And we got a rare, okay? Oh, for Codon. That's good. Okay, so what are we doing today? Oh, wait, hold on. First, let's hatch three dinosaurs. We have Kula Suchis. So I can get a level 20. Irritator. I think I can get level 30 now. And Prognathodon. Which I can get a level 20. And there we go. Mission complete. Another mission from Owen Grady. Have 7 dinosaurs at level 40. Well, that's going to be pretty tough. But I think... It's possible. So yeah, what are we doing today? Well, today we're doing the common mods event. So let's begin your training with some common mods. Okay, so I'll be using a Velociraptor. Wait, hold on. Do I have to use a Velociraptor? No, hold on. Wait. 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 Okay. Well, I can't I can't change it so there we go okay level 21 mods improve the stats and abilities of your creatures yeah so it's charge gives it more attack I see so now I can one shot this level 3 spinosaurus Oh, that's, that's cool. Okay, so for the second battle, I'll be using a Stegosaurus, and I'll use vitality it's vitality or vitality I'm not sure but it's one of those two you tap a creature icon to see its mod or swap its position on your team your creatures mod boost its 
HP. Okay, so vitality. Okay, so it it makes it like so it has more health now. So that's cool. I'll go for three reserves. If it goes for four, I'm dead. Okay, good, good. It went for, it went for two. It has a possible two blocks. But even if it does go for two blocks, it's still dead. And there we go. I just... I just realized Stegosaurus looks really cool. Like I want it, but I don't have it, so I only have Ankylosaurus, but it's level two or three. Okay, third battle. Spinosaurus and Ragisaurus. We have charge and vitality. Okay. Okay, we got charge. And Ragisaurus gets health. Okay, went for one. I will go for. Yeah, go for that. Please don't go for three. Don't go for three. Don't go for three. Okay, good, 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 good. And there we go. That's Quetzalcoatlus out of there. And in comes Tropi. Trop. Tropi Ganathus. I'll call him Mr. Tropi. Mr. Tropi is such a weird name. Okay, well, anyways, it's dead. We've won. Okay, fourth battle. And we have, ooh, a Dimetrodon, Distraction, oh, Distraction, it's like Jurassic World Alive. Distraction is an ability in Jurassic World Alive. When you use it, it nerves the opponent's attack. Okay, so that's cool. So, so they've pretty much just brought up some moves from Jurassic World Alive over to Jurassic World the game. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Alright, for the last battle, I'll have Pteranodon, Therizinosaurus, and Dimorphodon. Alright, so we're facing all amphibians. I think I will give Pteranodon... I'll give... I'll give Pteranodon, um... Charge, I'll give Therizinosaurus... I'll give distraction and then vitality to Dimorphodon. Okay, so let's see what we've learned. Giving it 414 health and Dimorphodon gets 708 
health. Oh, I meant 414 attack for Pteranodon. I think I can pretty much just two shot Microposaurus. Okay, they didn't go for anything, so that's fine. Okay, still didn't go for anything. Yeah, I'll go for that. And there we go. Okay. In comes Sarkosuchus. Goes for two. Does over half of my HP. Oh, Prime Suchus. Okay, goes for four. There are Xenosaurus. It's level 14. Well, we've won. So those are pretty good battles, and now we have our common mods pack. We get charge, rally, distraction, and 200 bucks, so that's good. We need those bucks. Oh no, now we have the rare mods event, oh god. What are we facing? Oh, well, it's pretty much just the same thing. Wait, do I have to do it? Oh, no, I don't have to. Okay, good, good. So, we're going to try to see our new hybrid for, and try to get 2,200 and um, how much? 2,250 DNA. So, let's see. I have, I mean, I might as well just use the Lophosaurus. And then our hybrid. I think that will do. Okay, goes for one. It goes for one again. Has a possible two blocks. So that will do. Okay, it doesn't go for anything. I will go for one attack and one block. Okay, now go for full on six. There we go, good, good, one for full on six. So it has no blocks, and let's see how much damage can our new hybrid do. It can do 3,270 attack. That's insane. It looks really cool. I like I like the textures on him. It's nice. It 
and we got our 2250 DNA. And let's see what do we have next? Our Protostega battle. Oh, level battle stage 38. We get Velociraptor, so we will be working towards that. Okay, that's good. We didn't get any DNA, so that sucked. But you know how it is. But anyways, I'm going to get another labyrinth. All right, it's gonna take one hour and eighteen minutes. That's that's fine. Should I speed it up, guys? Should I just speed it up? I mean, it's not that much. I might as well just speed it up. Another level 10 and how much bucks 30 bucks that's not it's not bad oh so close so close there we go we got our level 11 A level 11 labyrinthosaurus labyrinthosaurus Yes, that's how that's how you pronounce it, I think. Well, that's pretty much all we can do for now. Level 14. And let's see how strong it is. Well, it's, I think it's still in the same place. But, you know, soon it will surpass T-Rex and eventually Nundagosaurus. And possibly of a code on. So yeah, there we go, guys. That's all. Well, that's all what I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe for more Jurassic World the game content, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So, bye.